Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Daglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Monkey Island to LeChuck's Revenge. When we last left off, we had gotten ourselves a coin, which is, well, not bad considering we lost all our money at the very beginning of the game, so at least we're up one coin. It's just a bucket. So let's keep exploring. Guess there's nothing back here. Oh, laundry guy. So this is a laundry. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. It's sparkly clean. Can we pick it up? No ticket, no laundry. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the clean as they can be. All right. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. Well, we could pick up some clothes, but we don't have a ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? It was stolen, must have left, left it in my other pants, dropped it in my grog and melted it. It was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, son? I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse, but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up- Do you have your- I must have left it in my other pants. Why'd you trade it for chocolate-covered ants? Well, that sounds delicious. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your- Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. I'd like to- Yeah. I lost it while being keel-hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I'd like to- Yeah. No! You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Skip past that dialogue, but it was just him yelling, no, I don't have a claim ticket. But anyway. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Actually, one thing I wanted to try just to know whether it works or not. Let's quickly head back to the bar. We can maybe use the paper with the spit. Uh, oh, yuck. Okay. Yep, it's Largo's. So we picked that up. Not sure what we want to do with it, but oh well. So let's try the last place, hopefully. Ooh, an alligator. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, 
Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. But I'm sure he doesn't pay like 30, right? Nice. Be with you in a second. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. That's it? That, that's all the dialogue we get out of this guy? Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. S yep, I guess so. Hold it right there! That's a private room. No going up there. Okay. So the question is, is there anything of any use that we can do in this town? Because, um... What's it called? Welcome to Woodtick. No Wood -tick, treads right. or hunting zone. Well, there didn't seem like there was much of anything to do here. So let's see if we can go somewhere else. I mean, the beginning of adventure games is always like getting the lay of the land, so... All right. Wood tick. There's the beach. The swamp. Cemetery. Peninsula. That rock doesn't do anything. And then it seems like nothing much of anything in the middle, so... I guess we'll start at the beach? Oh, this works just like Monkey Island. We can freely roam around the island until we find something where we can actually... or something that is actually named and we can go to. Not like, uh, what was it? Melee Island, where we, where we were basically constrained to paths. Ooh, we found a stick. How useful. Nice stick. Nice. Oh, I thought this was maybe, like... A lighthouse or something, but... Oh, this is where... The, it did look familiar. This is where those pirates are hanging out. Fink. And Bart. Right. Bart and Fink. Steaming weenies. 20 feet. Okay. Phrasing. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Looks closed. Uh, I guess we can't go in. Well, doesn't look like there's much of it. Anything more here. Let's see if we can get any more info out of these guys. He's back! Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. I ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Largo Legrand is back on scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. I see. So there is a connection. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. 
but LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no, not this story again. Wasn't he a ghost to begin with? How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named Captain Dread. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to ride. That was beautiful. Well, I guess we've had enough songs for now. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Fair enough. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? So, I guess... There's nothing else to do at the beach. We'll keep searching the island. Got another cape here. Okay. That is a coffin. Yes. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. International House of Mojo. Looks murky. No kidding, it's a swamp. There's some bats. So can we use it? Row to... Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Row to shack. That's quite a shack. <laughs> well, that's cool. Display model. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Wart remover. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Eau de Mojo, the mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. They're unlabeled. They're unlabeled. Well, so we might be in the right place for somebody to fashion a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. And is this the same voodoo woman that was in the first game? 
Guy Brush Threepwood, it's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Well, we got some of a spit. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have some of his spit, yeah. I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Stands casual crosses. For graves that don't need to dress up. Here lies Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. Here lies Nibbles the dog. He was a bad dog. We're glad he's dead. The Ricketts, no trespassing. Stan's Cozy Crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. The Quagmires, no trespassing. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. The Grave of the Unknown Cabin Boy. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. The Grave of the Unknown Drunk Guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. The grave of the unknown drunk guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. That's weirdly specific. Oh. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is, he's dead. The bad news is, he bred. Very clever. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. No man commanded jean Louise, not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. 
life of action. That was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. All right. So we... The Grouts. No trespassing. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth can hold them. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the Earth... I can't pick that up. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139, Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's Ship Charters, 20 pieces of eight, inquire within. a house with that nautical look. Are you Captain Dredd? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because... A while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee. I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Lago has an embargo on the island. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again.
Oops, I think I broke the sign. <clears throat> yeah? Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. This is creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. I wonder if we have to get into Largo's room to get some of his clothes or his hair. Have you brought me any more ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. All right. So I guess we're heading back to Wood Tick. Well, we've got two or four things taken care of. We got something of the body and something of the dead, and we still need something of the cloth and something of the head or the fabric. What was it? Something of the thread, something thread. of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. So anyway, we were 50% there. So, well, that actually sounds pretty good, but... I think I'll end this video here, so for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. S subscribe to stay up to date, and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.